Good morning, team members. Uh, this video is just, it's going to be very relevant to the people that are in the energy sector. Those once in a while, they are, they are instructed to develop financial models. It could be solar, it could be hydro, it could be windy energy. What is most required in these models is that you have to include your levelized cost of, of electricity. But when you go on, the, on, on Google, it's very difficult to find this information. So I, I, I thought it's right that I, I show you how you can quickly model the levelized cost of electricity. So there is this example. Uh, I got it from the World Bank document. Obviously, the, the thing down here below, this, this is what I've just included, but word for word is from a World Bank document on energy. It says, annual power generation, 32 gigawatt hours. Let's just put these assumptions. So generation, 342. Investment. Hundred and sixty five million. What else? Operations and maintenance. 1.2% construction period four years The operational lifespan of this plant is six years. The discount rate, 10%. Okay. So if you're designing a financial model, Obviously, you will need to start with your years. Go like this. So you start from one up to 60. So to be up to 64 years, the first four years is under construction, then the operational activities, it is from, from the fifth year up to the 64th year. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we start with O and M. We can also assume that the costs are escalating at
inflation of 2% on annual basis. Mm -hmm. So remember that from here up to there, This is during construction, basically construction period. Mm -hmm. Then obviously after that, it is operational. Or commercial operation. <laughs> so O and M can only start after construction, which is in the fifth year. So this is what we'll do. So in the fifth year, we'll have the 165 million times O and M, 1%. which is mm, so I'm distracted. Mm -hmm. So we are saying it is actually growing at the rate of inflation. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Then we have CapEx. Should have started with CapEx, the capital investment. Here we we'll assume that CapEx is actually being incurred at the end of the year. At every end of a or at the first December of each year, that is when CAPEX is actually being consumed. That, is, that would be obvious the assumption here. So we'll start with year one. So in year one, we have been told, what have we been told? We have been told, okay, invest construction period four years with equal cost displacements. So meaning that we'll pick the 165 here and divide by four. Mm -hmm. So total cost Okay, so this is the total cost. So from here, we'll move on now to discount this. So we'll have the discount rate. Okay, maybe if I go to the discount rate, I also need to put in the energy. Okay, let me go to the discount rate of 10%. So in year one, we are going to have one divided by one plus 
10 percent there here we'll pick that divided by one plus the discount rate control R. Just leave it like this, it's okay. <laughs> then we'll bring in the energy generated, which is 342 gigawatt hours. Hundred and forty two gigawatt hours. Okay, so we'll start with the NPV for the cost. These guys, presentation is key. Then we'll have the NPV. PV for the gigawatt hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here first, we have the present values, the cost, and present values on energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So pick the total cost times the discount rate. We'll do the same here. We'll pick energy times the discount rate. So remember that during construction, there's nothing produced. The power station was not yet operational, just you under construction. So you delete that. Mm -hmm. So we have the cost, NPV cost, which we are going to sum here. Is does it? Then we have the NPV, which will also sum, sorry. So having these numbers, we go now to the leverized cost of energy. This is going to be in, in dollars per kilowatt hour. Remember that here we have we had raised the the million. So we have this number there divided by the GW whatever, giving us the levelized cost, which we can now take two cents. I think in the energy industry they used two cents using cents rather than dollars. So we'll do like this and say US cent, which would be that should be around six cents times 100. Sorry. So the leverage cost of energy is 6.33 cents. So meaning that if you are coming up with a tariff, it should be slightly above the leverage cost of energy because there will be also other costs that will come in, associated costs, 
uh, on debt. That is the interest that you have to actually pay or the cost of financing. So you expect that as you negotiate your the tariff which you start with would be slightly above the leverage cost of energy. But here is to assume that you don't even have any other financing costs. So the leverage cost of energy is 6.33%. Thank you so much. And I just thought that it was important for, for me to document this. For those that are in the energy sector, would want to model the leverage cost of energy, can use the knowledge that has been given out here and come up with a very good model. Currently, the, the internet doesn't have good information on leverage cost of energy. So I thought I should actually do this. Thank you so much. If you like the video, please like it or press the like button. Thank you so much and bye-bye.